Hey, is it possible this is a real crab? Or is this some kind of Photoshop special, if you know what I mean? Hey guys, Bill here. You know, a lot of strange creature photos and videos show up in my email box on a regular basis. We've covered giant goldfish, fish with human heads, fish with human looking teeth, you name it, I've seen it. But here's a new one. It's a picture of a crab that was sent in by Ken. And Ken wrote, I just saw this picture of what they call a samurai crab because it looks like it has the face of a samurai on it. Is it real or just a big fat fake? Ken, to be honest with you, I don't know what we're really looking at here. I mean, it could be real, but then again, it could be like a real crab that somebody stuck into Photoshop and messed with it to put that face on it. For all I know, it could be a logo for a company that sells crabs. The only way to find out for sure what's going on here is to do a real investigation. So let's go. The first thing we do with a picture like this is take a good long look at it. Other than the creepy face, it looks like a normal crab to me. I mean, it's got legs, a furry top, and has the same color of a lot of other crabs in the sea. But the question here remains, has this thing been digitally altered? I don't see any signs of that. I mean, I don't see any blurring around edges, you know, which is always a telltale sign. I don't see any lighting, you know, like doesn't make any sense. I don't see anything like that. So you know what I do when I get to a point like this? I go online and there's this tool you can use. It's absolutely free. It's called forensically. In here, we can use a magnifying glass to look at the image super close up. And hey, look here. You see this? There are signs that the picture has been manipulated. You see how square and boxy the pixels are? That's a definite giveaway. But, you know, the more I look around, the more it looks like this manipulation was only done around the edges as if they had a picture of a crab, but they took the background out and just made it black. Now, when I look inside the crab itself, well, the evidence looks a lot less conclusive. In other words, I'm not really sure. Well, I guess this one could go either way. I mean, what do you guys think? You think this thing is a real samurai crab with the face of a samurai on it? Or is somebody just trying to fake us out with a little bit of the old Photoshop? Tell you what, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out your answer, either real, fake, or unknown, as loud as you can, so the whole world knows what your answer is. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay. You just pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there, and then come back and watch the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. You ready? And go. <laughs> Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to make up their minds and vote, what do you say we take a look at a couple other items that came in recently? This first one is called Lady in a Tree. It was sent in by Valencia Clips. Valencia, some people claim what we're looking at are the remains of a witch. But then there's other people who claim this is a woman who ate a tree seed before she died. But in truth, what we're really looking at here is a big, fat fake. It started its life on the internet as a video, and the guy that posted it to TikTok said it was a spirit. But if you look at it closely, there are definitely two parts to this thing. The lower part really is part of the tree trunk, uh, and it kind of resembles a human body. But the head part of all this, well, that was added on. And now the giveaway that tells us that it was added on is right here. You see this, there's a bunch of moss that was added between the tree and where the head is, so you can't see where the transition part is. This is definitely a case where the head was created and added to the tree. I mean, it's a nice job, but definitely fake o -rama. 
Next up is this strange story. It was sent in by Jackie Milani and claims a man spent $15,000 to turn himself into a dog, but fears his friends will think he's weird. Well, I guess that depends on what kind of friends you have. But anyway, Jackie, uh, this story, as it turns out, is mostly real. A man named Tokyo San actually paid over $15,000 to make a super realistic dog costume so he could fulfill his lifelong dream of being a dog. As you might guess, Tokyo San is definitely into cosplay, and you know what? His cosplay friends didn't think he was weird at all. I tried to pay, he begged me to stay. Hey, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. Okay, now that we got Witch Lady in the tree and Dog Man in the dog costume out of the way, what do you say we get back to this? Which is the official answer on the... You remember? Yeah, the samurai crab. The one that has the face that looks like a human right in the middle. Well, some people think it looks like a samurai face, not just a regular human face. Uh, but anyway, the official answer has the truth here. So we're going to just look at this for just a second. Uh, to make sure that we have everything nailed down. We want all our T's crossed and all our I's dotted so that there is no mystery. And that's exactly what we have because the official answer is... Real! That's right. The official name of this crab is the Haikigani crab and it's a species native to Japan with a shell that does bear a pattern resembling a human face. Fishermen in Japan interpreted the face to look like a samurai. Guess what? You know what they do when they catch a samurai crab? They throw it back. They think it's bad luck. As a result, not a lot of them get eaten or taken out, and so they keep multiplying, and now they're one of the most plentiful crabs in Japanese waters. Now, surprisingly, People in Japan don't eat them. I'm not sure whether they taste bad or they think it's bad luck, but whatever. If you're a crab, you don't want to be caught, taken away, and eaten in a restaurant somewhere, get an angry face. That's what I say. Hey, don't click away just yet because I still got to show you my favorite fake of the week. But before we get to that, we're going to take a look at some all new fantabulous fan art. First up today is a crayon on paper epic by six-year-old Elise Schroeder and sent in by her mom. Elise watches the show with her brother, Derek. Hi, Derek. The picture shows a UFO placing an alien near a giant gorilla and Godzilla. Bigfoot is there and he can't believe his eyes. I think that's me just behind Bigfoot trying to say big fat fake. Wow, very imaginative, Elise. Thank you. Hey, speaking of Bigfoot, here's a neo-realist impressionistic tableau from Derek Gamer. He says if we look closely, we can see Bigfoot. Oh yeah, look, right there. There he is, hey Bigfoot. Thanks, Derek. And for our last one today, we have this colorful piece from Tony the Rapping Cat. Here we have Sladen, which is an original character by Tony. Then we have Freddy Fazbear and Cartoon Cat. On the bottom, we have Bill as a cat, and over here, another original called, what else? Tony the Cat. Tony, all I can say is, I think you're gonna end up with your own cartoon show one day. Thank you, and keep up the great work. And now, for my favorite fake of the week, this video is called Actual Video of UFO Shot Down in Alaska. It was posted by Rick on Twitter and well, here you go. I love the stormtroopers from Star Wars just hanging out like they're waiting for a ride home. It looks pretty realistic, but actually you know what this is, right? Yep, that's right. So, so fake, fake, it's funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.